name is Dylan Forgione. Hi. I'm Ty Bigum. I'm Emma. I'm Aria. <laughs> I'm David Tovar. Nice to meet you. Hi. Uh, my name's Haley Crawford. <laughs> I'm Lee Terebio. <laughs> I do not follow politics. Right. Not at all. No. <laughs> Unless it's like on the news, I'm just like, uh, okay. That's it. No. I don't know, I read about it and then I get like a little irritated about some things that are said and I'm just like, that's enough of that, and then, you know. <laughs> Politics are very interesting in the sense that there's a lot you can do to follow them, but I don't, I, yeah, no, I don't particularly follow them. I pay attention, but I don't go out of my way. Um, I did, and then everything started going to sh so then I stopped. <laughs> I don't normally follow politics that much, but I I watch stuff. What do you watch? TV. <laughs> what am I? Uh, <laughs> I don't agree with everything he says. I don't. Um, <laughs> I don't. Um, I do think. I don't know. I think that everything's for a reason. So, and it was a sh it was a surprise. It was a shocker. Um, but what happens, happens, and everything's for a reason, I guess, is all I can really say. He's got some pretty funky views, <laughs> but, like, you gotta hope for the best, am I right? Uh, I'm fine with that. I was kind of hoping he would win, so that's cool. Oh, dear. Like, that's just a mess. Like, I don't, like, in history class, oh, my God, I'm saying like again. We were talking about how his whole campaign, like, everybody turned around after he did get elected, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, he was just saying that stuff so he would get elected, you know, but it's just like, why would that be your go-to to, like, get people to vote for you, you know? Like, it's not something you could just say and turn around and be like, I was just kidding, you know? Like, it's, like, super offensive, like, the things that he was, like, going off of and basing his, like, whole, what's that called? Campaign, there you go. Because, you know, he's, like, going off of, like, everything that's, like, you know, well, and I think it's just because, like, you know, our country is kind of based off of, like, the development of, like, minority groups, you know? And to, like, attack, like, basically, like, you know, just, like, so many of them is just, like, really a big funch, funch, punch in the face, you know? Because it's, I don't know, it's just not something I think you should ever do. Um, I think it's pretty silly, to say the least. <laughs> I don't know why anybody voted for him, but that's none of my business, I guess, because I can't vote. <laughs> okay, President-elect Trump scares me a little bit because of just... I don't really like to think of moral standards a lot of the time in politics because they're kind of different, but I think it applies here. I think it really does because he, he said things and he's done things, and I don't think that people realize the extent of his language and his words. I don't think there's ever been a president that clown-like. He's literally a clown. All the comedy for the past 12, 18 months has been circled around Donald Trump. Their entire comedy special is out right now about him. And people get paid for making fun of him. But now he's like leading our country and our military more specifically. And that's Scary. Okay. Thanks. Oh god. Okay, I've never been a fan, like, ever. And like, for people to come out and just openly, like, you know, say like, oh, you know, like, I hate these people, you know, it's like, it's awful. Cause it's like, I don't know, like, you know how, like, the whole comments on, like, terrorism and everything or, like, you know, Mexicans being, like, one way or, like, Muslims being, like, another, you know? And it's, like, that extreme that, like, really shuts people out when, like, we used to be, or, like, you know, we used to stand for, like, accepting everyone, you know? Like, the refugees and all that, you know? And having him come in and say, you know, like, we have to, like, stop letting these people in because they're ruining our country, you know? It's, like no our country was built off of that you know we're made to help and to come in and completely flip that value when they get all these people that are like yeah i totally agree it's like what were you doing like all the years that we were supposed to be helping you know 
it's so backwards because and like shocking no one likes racist people well there's always been like racist people it's just i don't think there's like a direct correlation between him being elected and racist people it's, yeah. uh the extremists are no matter what you have your own opinions you have your own feelings but don't take it too far no matter who you are, no matter what you believe in, if you take it too far and you hurt people, that's not okay. It's just not. You wouldn't hurt your mother or your father, usually. You wouldn't hurt your siblings. You wouldn't hurt your son, your daughter. So why would you hurt someone else's just because they think differently than you? And I think that the extremists really need to just calm down a little bit, please express your opinions as much as you'd like. I, I appreciate that, actually. But just don't put someone else down because of it. That's pretty much all I have to say on that. Honestly, I'm so terrified. I, like, that's, like, another thing is that, like, who you, these people that come out as the extremists and, like, it, then it like they think they could do anything they think they're so powerful and they think that like oh well i could say whatever i want because this is what i believe in blah blah, I'm blah. exactly I, i'm an american things should be my way my choice but then like then they could take it too far and that is what i'm afraid of extremists you know in most things aren't really good you know especially with a uh, kkk that's that's pretty not good because you know it's rude and uh, <laughs> and you know that's I don't know, I don't really have too much of a stance. Well, I mean, wait. No, I don't want to say I don't have yeah, a stance on it because people <laughs> said people will think that I'm like supporting it, but I, I don't support the KKK. Oh, um, I'm Latino. My mom's from uh, Spain and my dad's from Colombia. And uh, I'm first generation in the country. I was born here, but my parents moved here from uh, Chile. That's where they met. And my mom is absolutely furious. And even though both my parents are immigrants, my dad supports him, which makes sense, right? It doesn't. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, I think it makes sense. I mean, that's why he, you know, so many people voted for him was because he kind of like advocated all these different thoughts, all these bad thoughts, so that now they're allowed to be more vicious about it. Because not only were they like, a, a Republican nominee supports what we think, so we're gonna be fixed about it, it's the president, the future president supports what we think. So now this is our America. And that's what, yeah, okay, that's it, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, I'm half black, half white, and I don't really think about it much, but I fit in pretty good with society. <laughs> um, as a woman, I, I don't know, I just feel like it, just things will be taken, um, like, to an extent. Like, does that make sense? Like, I feel like because if you see, like, videos on, like, just, like, people just are very, like, outspoken and like oh like in saying words that like aren't appropriate you know mm -hmm. so i feel like it will encourage more uh violence <laughs> to be honest um especially like um especially in like the woman community especially of the comments that were made and just things in general um i just feel like everyone who would make those types of comments would does that make ah like it's hard to word word words, um, would take it to take it further. I believe they they will take what they say further, and that's mostly what I'm afraid of. It's just people who you don't think would say those things do, and yeah. So I'm primarily Irish and Indigenous Mexican. I I don't think that there should be a reason for people to be afraid. I feel like we need to get to that point to where being Latina doesn't mean that you need to be afraid. It should be your heritage, your culture. It should be like that. It shouldn't be something that defines you as a person, as an individual. And I definitely don't think it needs to be a means for directional hate. Why do we need to still hate people just because they say that they're something? If I say I'm Mexican, that doesn't mean that you should say, oh, you bring drugs, because I don't. 
I'm a 17 year old girl that goes to school so I can get an education so that way I can have a successful life. Uh, I'm all like white ethnicity, so I'm like, it's all good. <laughs> Um, I'm Mexican, and I think the things he says about other Mexicans is pretty horrid, and I don't appreciate it. I just feel like he's just being an idiot, and he's really ignorant, and that's, yeah. I don't know, because, like, I feel like before, you know, we were still kind of looked at as, like, you know, oh, you know, Hispanic, and you're a girl, there, there you go, you know? So you're still, like, not really seen as, like, a whole person which really sucks but I think now like you know with everybody coming out and like admitting that like they don't like certain people for who they are you know it's gonna be a little bit worse but honestly like if I'm just gonna be like super blunt I look white like I look white you know <laughs> so everybody like you know they assume like oh she's white you know she must be like that so I feel I feel like that divide is just gonna get really bad, you know, because they're gonna be like, oh, you probably are like for Trump, you know, and I'm like, no, I'm Latina, you know, <laughs> like, I swear, I'm a good person, you know, but like, see, like, even comments like that, you know, it's kind of based off of that because, you know, everybody's worried about being attacked, you know, and I feel like with the way things are and, you know, who was elected, we need to, like, kind of work together despite, you know, what we look like or, like, who we are, you know, or how we were raised because, like, you can't get rid of a terrible person by being terrible, you know, like, I don't know.